Mike Camilleri and Daniel Winnick go head-to-head in a match play. We visit two beautiful Stanley Thompson courses in Alberta and another tip from the world's top coach, Sean Foley. This is Score Golf, the voice of Canadian golf. Score Golf is brought to you by Molson Canadian 67, official beer of the PGA of Canada, RBC Canadian Open, and Canadian Women's Open. Taylor Made Golf, the number one driver in golf. GolfColona.com, 20 courses from easygoing to ego shattering. Now, here's your host, Bob Weeks. Hello, Canada, and welcome to another edition of Score Golf TV. Well, as you can see, we are in the beautiful Canadian Rockies today for our program. That's the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel behind me, and we are on the Fairmont Banff Springs Golf Course, one of Stanley Thompson's gems. We're going to show you this one, as well as another one of his masterpieces, the Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. Those two beautiful golf courses today on Score Golf TV. We'll also have another tip from Tiger Woods coach Sean Foley. And to kick things off, it's another edition of our tee-off season. Today, it's the Calgary Flames' Mike Camilleri versus the Anaheim Ducks' Dan Winnick. The tee-off season is brought to you by Molson Canadian 67, proud sponsor of golf and the official sport of the guy. Hey, I'm Daniel Winnick, the Anaheim Ducks' avid golfer, as is the playing partner I'm playing today, Mike Camilleri. He's got the home course advantage here at Summit. Usually, it doesn't work for him at the Saddle Dome, though. Hi, I'm Mike Camilleri of the Calgary Flames. Excited to be out here today playing some golf against Dan Winnick of the Ducks. This guy can play, so I'm gonna have to find a way to get under the par to keep up with him. Today's match on uh, Score Golf TV. Here we have a couple of, a couple of GTA guys going head to head here. Uh, Mike Camilleri, Dan Winnick, and uh, Mike, you are, have a big advantage here. We're at the Summit Golf and Country Club. And I didn't realize until we showed up this morning, you used to be the club champion here. I used to be is the operative word. <laughs> and uh, I think that advantage is nullified. I mean, I'm playing against a guy who plays in the state of California, where he obviously has the climate to his advantage. He's also a single man, as far as not married with family. so. Um, I'd like to know how many shots I'm getting before we even start. Oh, well, it's just, that didn't take long, right, Dan? Yeah. Uh, you obviously grew up in the area, but I don't know if you've played Summit before, so you might be at a little disadvantage here. Yeah, I've never played this course, and it's not shocking that Cammy picked a place that he's played. I figured kind of somehow work some advantage, like he's already talking about strokes, but it's not so. And then he tells me he's club champion as well. Yeah, yeah, nice. You see, walk in the door and see his name on the wall, yeah. right? Well, here's the deal, guys. Three holes, uh, match play, and if we are tied after three holes, we're going to just go back and have a little chip off, and uh, no wagering this morning, okay? Sounds like fun. All right, let's get started. So we start out on the 12th hole, dog's leg. Okay, Mike, you have the honors. Beauty. Look at that. Perfect Thanks. shot. Yeah, that'll work. And now Winnick's first shot. Oof, you're going to love that. Look at that. That's even better. That's going to be right on the upslope. This looks like it's going to be a good match, boys. You have a 100-yard flip wedge in from there. Camilleri's second shot was a pretty one, landing just right of the hole. You're good. Nice ball. Shot. Spin high right. Nice. Very similar to Mike's shot, uh, blind, uphill, playing 95 yards. Well, it's 95 yards, probably playing closer to 105, so just put a nice smooth swing on a 56, should get it there. Good go in. It's a good looking shot. Oh, great ball. Is it good as it looks? Pretty good. Uh oh. Just left of the pin. Uh oh. Looks like I need birdies for halves in this game. <laughs> okay, Dan, downhill. Looks a little slippery. Go. Oh, that's a good stroke. That's a pretty good stroke. I'm going to have to give you that one, buddy. How's Cammy's putting? His short game's probably one of the better part of his games. I know he's uh, just switched to the tailor-made Daddy Long Legs putter and he's really liked it. Saw him on the putting green and he was uh, dropping him pretty good. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> now you gotta live up to that. Got a shot. Pretty good roll. A little scared of that. Uh-oh. I was a little scared of that by uh -oh. that hole there. <laughs> You're good. Thanks, buddy. And we're all tied up after one hole. On to the par three second hole where both golfers hit tee shots onto the green and followed up with easy pars to stay all square. 
And now on to the par 5 14th. It's pretty good. Sure. Get out of the rough. Just to the right, bounce. Uh oh. Stayed in the rough. Opening for you, Dan. Uh oh. Down far enough in the rough. Uh oh. And with a solid drive, Winnick could put some pressure on Mike. There you That'll go. Work. That could be in the uh, right, right by Mike's ball. Let's see. Right by me, side by each. So I've missed the fairway here by about 13 to 15 feet right. Just kind of handcuffs me a bit because I got about 240 yards into this par, par five, but I got these trees to deal with now. So <laughs> maybe not the most recommended shot, but I'm gonna try and hit a, a cut three wood off a hook lie into a green out of the rough on a par five. No problem. This ball, it's cutting. Wow, this is on a good line. Don't cut too much. Oh, oh! Cut into the trap bunker. Can you that? Well, the door is uh, swung open a little bit here, Dan. Uh, anywhere on the green, you'd probably be happy with, right? Yeah, anywhere on the green or a little left of the green, I'm satisfied. Okay, let's see you do it. Uh, just stay there. Don't hit the path. You're good. Uh, that's fine. Good leave. Tough break here, buddy. I mean, you know how this works. Golf played as it lies. It's got to be a drop. Like the ground is moving. I, I don't see any stakes. I don't see any lines. I mean, I know it's gonna be hard to get your club on that thing, but I mean, you could maybe putt it or something or hit a three wood. We could bring in a guy who might know a thing or two. Here's Ian Leggett, former PGA Tour player who now looks after everything here at uh, Summit Golf Club. What do you think? Well, I, whose ball is it, first of all? Mine. Why does that matter? Why does that matter? That, like, that actually that plays matters. a big, big, big role right here. This is bias. He knows you always try and get the upper hand. This is hand. definitely a drop. This is bias right. officiating. If this, if, if that was Cammy's ball, there's he's playing it from where it lies. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. If it was Cammy's ball, you'd probably step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would. Match play. I'm allowed to give my partner a drop. There you all go. right. Perfect lie. Unbelievable. Oh, you're gonna like it. No, no spin. I still got to look at it. Nice shot. Nice play. And now Camilleri needs to match Winnick's great shot with a gem of his own. Can he do it? Great shot. Beautiful shot. He nailed it. There's a kick in. Here's Winnick for birdie. He's got a chance. What a putt. Oh, great and Mr. Birdie Clutch. Buddy. Got a little longer. Great birdie, buddy. And now Camilleri to send this to a shootout. To the extra frame we go. You guys are just too good here. I mean, the par par birdie, uh, head to head. And now we're gonna settle things with just one shot. Par three here, whoever hits it closest to the pin is gonna be the winner. Does that sound okay? Sounds like fun. Sounds great. Okay, boys, let's go do it. Try and stuff it in there. Get left a bit. All right. Ooh, a lot of room in there, Winnie. Winnick needs to get inside 17 feet for the win. No. Oh no, he pulled it into the trees. Cammy gets the win. It's over, folks. Guys, that's the, the, the closest match we've had. Came right down to the shootout, and uh, Mike, you pulled through, and look at this. We have this championship trophy for you. I hope this will find a great place on your mantle. It's, the funny thing is, it will. It's, uh, I've, I've never really won many golf trophies, so it's uh, awesome, and it was a lot of fun today. Thanks. You could put a picture of, of Daniel on it. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be at the gym on Monday. Uh, you know what? That's probably where it'll end up. I'll just stay there. You don't know what this means to me. This is big time bragging rights for we all train with, with Matt at Biosteel there, and so this will be um, present for sure on Monday at the gym. How long do you think you're going to have to hear about this? All summer until he actually wants to play an 18 hole match, then it could be squashed. Well, guys, thanks very much. It was a good, good time out there. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Coming up, we'll take you to both Fairmont Bamp Springs and Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge for a look at two of Canada's most incredible golf courses. Well, the Fairmont Banff Springs has long been one of Canada's most famous and iconic golf courses. It is a wonderful place to come and play. It doesn't even matter how well you hit the ball. Just to be out here surrounded by the Rocky Mountains, it should be on every Canadian golfer's bucket list. Let's show you why right now. Nestled under the shadows of the iconic Rocky Mountains are two of Canada's premier golf layouts, Fairmont Jasper Park and Fairmont Banff Springs. Each designed by the great Stanley Thompson back in the 1920s, they withstood the test of time, still to this day being recognized as two of the best golf courses in our nation 
nearly 60 years after Thompson's death. It's a remarkable legacy left behind by a man who designed over 100 courses in Canada and around the world and is still influencing some of today's architects. A look at our Score Golf 2012 Top 100 Canadian Course Ranking features an incredible 15 Thompson layouts, including St. George's in Toronto, Capilano in Vancouver, and Highlands Links in Nova Scotia, which along with Jasper Park and Banff, occupy half of the top 10. But the two Alberta gems belong in a category of their own, having headlined golf in the Rockies for decades. Take the Fairmont Jasper Park, which combines a Rocky Mountain setting, the beautiful Lac Beauvert, and a luxurious lodge for an ideal escape. It's truly a special place that challenges skilled golfers, yet is still enjoyable for any high handicapper. I think Stanley built a, a, you know, the perfect resort golf course way back in 1925. You know, it's, it's fair and generous off the tees. It's really all about hitting good approach shots and, you know, dealing with some pretty tricky greens. But, you know, it's really a place where you can get the ball around. And really, when you're done, you just, you know, I want to go do it again. From thrilling par threes to short strategic par fours and a few monster par fives, around at Jasper Park Lodge is virtually impossible to forget. The wandering wildlife and picturesque panoramas of snow-capped mountains are sure to capture your attention, just as Thompson envisioned. You know, Stanley, he took a time, his time routing it, and Stanley also came back for many years after the golf course was designed, and he definitely wanted to make sure as you turned, you kept taking advantage of all of the incredible vistas that there are and the different mountain peaks as you go around the golf course. Jasper Park features a collection of holes that can inspire and energize any golfer. With wide fairways that carve through thick forest, the layout shows off elevated tee boxes, dramatic bunkering and holes aligned with distant mountain vistas, making it difficult to settle on just one favorite hole. However, the ninth hole, named Cleopatra, is a serious stunner. A 230-yard par 3 from the back tees, Cleopatra teases players with a reasonable chance at a birdie, but a tricky green complex and several sand traps keep her well protected. And along with a fantastic vertical vista of the mountains, every golfer can enjoy this tee shot. It's an amazing design because for that average player, it's, it's you know, they can make par bogey with a good chip and a putt. And for good players who want to try to fly it onto that surface that's popped up, uh, it's a very difficult hole. And, you know, it's almost like things balance out a little bit from, uh, and that's hard to say on a lot of golf holes. Describing the majestic Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge in words likely doesn't do it justice though. A national treasure that should be on every Canadian golfer's bucket list, the track was recently rated the 2013 top public course in Canada by Score Golf. And along with a five-star resort, a relaxing getaway to the Alberta retreat is the perfect alternative to your busy city lifestyle. But we have a lot of people that come here and they, they're here for a week and they're playing once a day or twice a day and um, that speaks volumes for this golf course and what a special place it has for so many people but it really is a great golf experience. We've got a beautiful world-class spa there that is really getting quite rave reviews from all the guests that are going through it. Fairmont's truly about, about service and you know it's about food and drink and really making sure that we, we can something for everyone to do and in the, in the town of Jasper between all the hiking and biking and tours that you can take, uh, you know, it, it's a magical place. Add it all up and you'll see it's tough to beat what Jasper Park Lodge has to offer, but it's down the road partner Banff Springs sure comes close. Renowned for its beauty, the Fairmont Banff Springs is similarly a captivating and challenging golf course set in the heart of Canada's Rocky Mountains. Located in one of Canada's beautiful national parks, Banff Springs is a magnificent layout that thrills every golfer fortunate enough to play around. Offering a breathtaking view at every turn in a serene alpine setting, the course will both delight and tempt you as you make your way through the 18 scenic holes. It's got tremendous views all around it. In fact, I tell people I've never taught a lesson here where I've asked people to keep their head down because that would be doing a disservice to their game. But you've got wonderful views of wildlife, you've got great natural landscapes, you've got a beautiful river. And uh, what I find really encouraging and exciting is when guests come to play here, they just have a smile on their face and they just, even if they don't play well, they really enjoyed what they saw. While Banff Springs amazes you with its stunning sights, your experience on the golf course will be just as surreal. Host of a number of Skins games in the past, the Fairmont track can hold its own against world-class players, but with some smart and skilled shot making, it's vulnerable to a good score by amateurs too. Every hole here can be birdied. Um, what you really need is patience 
and you need to really understand the greens. Uh, we've held the 2006 and the 2011 skins game, and both of those, although the players played well, it was the putts where they missed. They read a little bit too much into it. Uh, a lot of times you just need to hit it with a little less break and, uh, and you can play well. The other part would be that if you get to play in the morning, get out. The wind isn't up yet. If you're playing in the afternoon, you better know how to hit the ball into the wind because there's a long stretch of holes where the player that can play it under the wind plays well. The signature hole on the golf course comes on the front nine at number four called the Devil's Cauldron. Named one of the best 18 holes in the world by Golf Magazine in 2000, the 190-yard par three is a blast to play. Well, the beautiful thing about the fourth hole, not only being one of the top 18 holes in the world, is that it has a bowl-shaped green. And so there's absolutely no reason that a player should hit their ball short because anything that's a bit right, a bit left, or long will hit into the banks and roll back onto the green. Again, looking at the 2006 Skins game where Sergio Garcia hit it over the green and actually lifted out uh, for, for his hole in one. He didn't make it, of course, but he came very close. So I always say people take enough club because you've got a lot of room in the back that the ball will play back down that bowl into the cup. On the back nine, the 12th hole is a marvelous one that requires precision from tee to green. Off the tee, the 440-yard par-5 tests your metal with large fairway bunkers looming on your left and the winding Bow River zigzagging to your right. For your approach, landing one on the long and narrow green is a challenge, while the iconic castle in the Rockies, the Fairmont Hotel, sits calmly in the distance. It was ranked back in the 1940s by uh, golf professionals and amateurs alike in Canada as the number one par four in Canada. The reason why, you've got to hit a great tee shot to set up your hit into the green. The green has a, a deep bunker on the left and it has water on the right. So the closer you can be to the green to hit that shot in, the, uh, I guess the better success you'll have. While the golf course is a must play for any serious golf fan, all fans of the game will be impressed by not just the beautiful scenery surrounding every hole, but also the service and group of golf professionals that keep one of Canada's great golf destinations in pristine condition. Our mantra is to turn moments into memories for our guests. So we don't just take for granted we have a wonderful golf course and that it does all the work. We ensure our staff are well trained. We ensure they understand uh, our guests that are coming, that we take the time to look at the tee sheet and know any intricacies about them. And we're very excited about this place. And that seems to exude into them and they leave very excited as well. Once your clubs are away, there may be no better post-round entertainment than in bustling downtown Banff. The village features an array of natural sightseeing destinations, as well as a busy downtown area full of shops and bars for a fun nightlife. Whether you're a scratch golfer or somebody who just loves hitting balls while walking beautiful courses, there's no question that both Banff and Jasper are must-play golf vacation destinations for every Canadian. Truly, they are masterpieces designed by Stanley Thompson Canada's master golf architect. Coming up, we'll spend some time with former Canadian amateur champion and a member of the Alabama Crimson Tide National Championship team, Jennifer Kirby. Well, how about this for a debut? You turn professional, you enter your first tournament, and you win it. Easy peasy, right? Well, maybe it's not going to be quite that easy for Jennifer Kirby, but she certainly has a bright future ahead of her. Let's meet Canada's newest golf professional, Jennifer Kirby. Teeing up Team Canada, reviewing Canada's national golf program, brought to you by RBC. Let us help you make your mark. Jennifer Kirby has had an impressive list of accomplishments throughout her amateur career. Viewed as one of Canada's brightest young golfers, she's decided to tee up the ball and turn professional. The 21-year-old native of Paris, Ontario, graduated from the University of Alabama where she helped the Crimson Tide capture the NCAA Division I Women's Golf Championship and earned her first collegiate victory in April. The former Team Canada member also owns an impressive amateur resume, winning both the Canadian Junior and the Canadian Women's Amateur, along with the Ontario Junior and the Ontario Women's Amateur. Jennifer Kirby, uh, welcome back to Score Golf TV. You've been on this before, I think, in uh, years gone by, but you are a, basically a brand new golf pro. Yep. How does it feel? Pretty good, pretty new. It's <laughs> yeah. only been four weeks or so, yeah. And you've already got a win, though. That's pretty impressive. Yep. Tell me about the win. Honestly, it didn't really feel much different, and then I won at the end, and everybody kept saying, oh, it's your first win as a pro, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Besides that, what are, seriously, what are the, the big changes that you have found in this one month of, of be, between being an amateur yeah. and being a professional? Making your own schedule and kind of figuring out what I'm playing in and, you know, booking certain things and 
um, when I practice, when I want to get to the golf course, because you know in college golf you're part of the team and you have to kind of go when <laughs> the other players want to go and leave when the other players want to leave, so just a lot more freedom. And one of the guys that you work with and you have worked with since you were a young gal, 13 years old you were just telling me, is, is Sean Foley. What's that relationship like and, and what does he mean to your career? I've been working with Sean since I was 13, so obviously we have a great partnership and you know, we're friends, but also he's my coach. Um, I don't see him a lot right now, but in high school I saw him almost every day and he kind of helped me figure out, you know, kind of teach me what my swing is and I can just call him up whenever and he always has time for me even though he's gotten so big and <laughs> Mr. Celebrity, but <laughs> he's always learning and continually trying to find out more. So. You know, he always has something new when you talk to him on the phone and it, yeah, it definitely doesn't have to be about golf. It could be just a mindset you take into the day and, you know, I think that's really important too. I know you spent some years on the, uh, on the developmental team. What were those years like and how did that help you? Uh, they are great experiences. Now that looking back, I realize, you know, how many uh, opportunities they've given me and the support staff that they have is excellent and just the little things that you never really think about that you learned along the way, like how to feed yourself on the course, how to train and really prepare for a week and, you know, taper into events and stuff like that. Just, I think that's really helpful and, of course, obviously I got to, you know, travel around the world with them, so that was really awesome to represent my country that way. After this break, a tip from Hunter Mahan's coach, Sean Foley. Johnny Walker presents Progress Your Game. Great game. Keep walking. For the top of the swing drill, all you simply need is a glove. Place it under your arm. This is something I do with pretty much every player I work with, from Justin Rose to Sean O'Hara to Hunter Mahan. And this is just to ensure that what we've created in the takeaway and this connection that we have with the arms and the body, that we continue to have that connection all the way to the top. So basically, as you set up, and you get into the takeaway, you're in, your, you're in your reaction position now from here as the club's going back in the takeaway in the proper sequence, the body starts tilting, center of mass stays in the same place. Basically the hinging of the wrist and the folding of the elbow will keep the pressure between the glove and the body in there. And as you can see from there, that the body and the arms are working in unison to create a seamless move at the top of the swing. You want to create better association between the hands and the arms and the body. If you put a glove into here, that'll continue that towel drill right into keeping everything collected to the top of the backswing. You'll find that you lag the club better and you have better speed at impact. Week Speaks is brought to you by Bushnell, makers of the Pro 1M and Tour Z6 range finders. When you come to a place like the Fairmont Banff Springs, it's hard not to be proud of what we have as Canadian golfers. We have some of the best golf courses in the world. This one is a perfect example, so is the Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. Iconic golf courses, unique golf courses, ones that really define what Canadian golf is. And it's up to every one of us as Canadian golfers when we travel abroad or meet golfers from abroad to really push just how great these golf courses are. That's all our time for this week on Score Golf TV. Thanks to everybody out here in the beautiful Canadian Rockies. We've had just a spectacular time. Come on out here, folks. Enjoy it. This is a place you have to come. We'll see you next time on Score Golf TV. Score Golf is brought to you by BioSteel High Performance Sports Strength. Bob Weeks Clothing, supplied by Ashworth.